In this color grading video, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can create this faded sky blue look in your photos using Lightroom Classic. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo. Now I've got this photo here, and as you can see, it's a great photo, but I think the blue is far overpowering. You know, we've increased the saturation and the vibrancy of the ground, but it's also reflected in the sky as well. So it's creating this very strong look, and I want to kind of emphasize a lot of the kind of rocks in the foreground and not necessarily emphasize the sky. So how can we create this nice faded look when it comes to the sky? Well, what we're gonna do is go over to the develop panel in Lightroom and drop down to where you can see it says HSL color. That is our hue, saturation, and luminance sliders. So we're gonna leave the hue alone. We're gonna jump over to where you can see it says saturation. Now obviously, blue sky found in the aquas and blue sections of our color wheel. So we're gonna to go to where you can see it says that saturation, drop down to where you can see it says aqua, and we're gonna drop that down by minus 50%. And we're gonna do the same with the blue, drop that down by minus 50, you can see here. And what it will do is create this nice faded look. The problem is it's made it look a little bit gray. So what we can do to combat that look, we're gonna to go to our luminance slider. And again, we're gonna to go to the aquas, but we're gonna increase it this time by 30%. And we're going to do the same with the blue. So we can increase that by 30. What that will do is it will create that gray, that washed out gray look, and it will add in more white. So yes, we are removing saturation from those blues, but we're actually increasing the luminosity at the same time. Imagine making this more of a faded blue look. We're not removing blue entirely from the photo. I don't think that would work. We just creating a little bit more of a subtle look. And what it will do is it will draw away the attention that the sky had and bring that back to where the foreground is, you know, the important part, the rocks, the foreground. Maybe if we had a model standing here. Again, we don't want to have it such an overpowering blue. So just removing a little bit of that color and then brightening it slightly brings more attention to the more important parts of the photo. So what I could do is show you the before, and then I can show you the after, and I'm really happy with that blue. It's still there, still got that nice impact, but it just isn't as powerful. So what I can do is show you the before and after here. So we've got the before, you can see that blue, and then we've got that after, we've got that nice faded look, and highly recommend doing it to your next photo, especially if the blue's incredibly overpowering, and it's kind of ruining the rest of the photo. So here is the before, and here is the after. And if this particular effect worked for you, write it down in the comments below.